Welcome to Open Box Education. In this video, I am going to explain about context, interrupt latency, and interrupt service routine. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and share to your friends. So, first of all, we will see about what is context. Already we know that a processor will do multiple tasks. So, when multiple tasks are waiting in a queue, so all the tasks have to share the CPU time equally. That is, multiple tasks will share the CPU time equally. Already we know that this one. So, when a low priority task in running state, then the CPU registers will contain the data related to this low priority tasks. Meanwhile, if high priority task is ready to run, then the low priority task has to be preempted and before the starting execution of high priority task, the register contents of the CPU should be saved. That is here the low priority task contents will be saved in the CPU registers. So this state of the CPU registers before executing the high priority task is known as context. And next we will go for interrupt latency. So it is the time taken by the microcontroller to initialize the interrupt service routine. That means this is the time interval between the occurrence of an interrupt and the fetch operation of the first instruction of the ISR. For example, if T0 is the time instant at which the interrupt is occurred and T1 time instant at which ISR initiates. So, the difference between this T1 and T0 that is nothing but we will call interrupt latency. So, this is about that interrupt latency. And next one is that interrupt service routine. So, an interrupt service routine is program which has to be executed when an interrupt is received. Each interrupt has an interrupt service routine. So, for every interrupt, there will be an interrupt service routine. This interrupt service routine is nothing but a, a program. So, when an interrupt is recognized, the microcontroller branches to that particular interrupt service routine. For each interrupt, uh, there will be a, a fixed location in memory which holds the address of that ISR. The group of memory locations uh, set aside to hold the addresses of ISR is called interrupt vector table. So thank you very much for watching this video. To watch more videos, please subscribe to my channel, Open Box Education.